Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, I'm going to be ranking my favorite IKEA products. This is going from 10 down to one, my top 10 favorite IKEA products, 10 being the worst of the best, yep, and then one being the best of the best. I will also not be pronouncing any of the Swedish words properly. Some of you are really bothered by that, but you know, I love that you think this is the New York Times and there's journalistic integrity here, but the truth is I'm a guy in my living room who just spends way too much time at Ikea, and that's what this video is all about, so don't take it all too seriously. I sure don't. Okay, so these are in order. Let's get going and talk about number 10. Number 10 on my list is going to be the Forza. Also, I have some honorable mentions, but we're gonna do this Mojo Mojo style, or we're gonna do those at the end of the video. Okay, so Forza is my number 10 on the list. I love this lamp. I think it is a beautiful task lamp. I think people need more task lamps in their lives, just more lamps in general. It just always makes a place feel more luxurious. Dynamic lighting plan is where it's at. You know, lighting just changes everything. The Forza is gorgeous. And it reminds me a lot of the Angle Poise, which is a beautiful designer lamp. I featured it in my Timeless Lighting series where I talked about my favorite timeless lighting pieces that are just always fabulous and always look good. Gonna link that here, here, here. I don't know where it is. How long have I been doing YouTube and I don't know where to point to? I think it's here. Anyway, the Forza is beautiful. It is kind of the Pixar lamp. It is gorgeous. It is $35. I don't know what it is in the States, but like probably like it's $35 Canadian. This is like such an affordable lamp. The materials on this are really solid. It's metal construction. It comes in three colors right now, but I think it kind of cycles out the colors. It comes in beige and sort of this minty green, but it also comes in this really interesting chrome plated version, which is just absolutely stunning. Chrome is definitely, it's nickel plated but chrome is similar. Chrome is definitely having a moment. The shiny silvery metal is everywhere. You see this in a lot of furniture construction right now. You see it in decor. It's all over the place. Very popular, very trendy. You may like it, you may not. That's cool. Ikea is getting it on the bandwagon with this nickel plated version. I think it's really cool. It's a much cheaper alternative. This is designer lamps, beautiful constructed, great materials. You're gonna hear me talk a lot about materials in this list, okay? Because this is oftentimes where Ikea cuts corners, not gonna lie, right? They make beautiful products at a great price point, but something has to give. That is oftentimes in the material choices. So that's why I'm gonna focus a lot of materials throughout this list, because the best materials are the ones that make the cut. Okay, next up on the list is gonna be the Fjadrar, which is, again, we're gonna talk about materials, because this is a beautiful pillow. It is comes in a few different sizes. The most popular one, of course, being the 50 by 50 throw pillow. That's actually what I have inside these little throw pillows that I have here. So the Fjordjar is very, very cool. It is made of duck feathers, which is the inner. So I think that's really important is that's the filling is you're going to get real feather down. And sometimes with Ikea, their other pillow that you can get is called the inner. And the inner is going to be not as good. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's you, you, you squish it and then it just pops back into shape, right? It feels very, very cheap. It's not gonna give you that luxurious feel that you're probably looking for from your throw pillows. The Fjordjar is going to do that. It's going to give, it's going to be choppable. If you like the choppable look, no matter how you choose to style your pillows, it's going to do what you need it to do. It's very comfy, you can lean on it and it has some give to it, but it sort of bounces back. You just have to fluff the pillows, but that's fine because it just looks and feels so much more luxurious. It's a great price point at Ikea. I will say sometimes, depending on where you get your pillow covers from, if you get them at Ikea, you're probably fine. Like the Snella is awesome. Uh, that sort of cover that would work. If you do choose to buy yours at other retailers, like I bought these from Banana Republic, I know, who knew Banana Republic did home decor? I didn't either, but these are beautiful cashmere. Anyway, I buy the Ikea Fjordjar, but I actually bought two, so I actually doubled up. So if you want to create something that feels really, really full and really, like it just feels a little bit sloppy and bleh, if you kind of just put one in, consider putting two in. Obviously doubles the price, but at this price point, what are you paying like? $10, $12 a pillow. Like it just is really going to upgrade those pillows and make them a lot more beautiful. So I love this. I think this is a gorgeous pillow. Love this one. This is the inner. They got tons of covers. They're all awesome. None of them made my list, but that's okay. This is my number nine. Great pillow choice. Okay, next up on my list is going to be the Ombanad. This is a series that has a few different pieces and I actually really like a lot of them. I'm gonna highlight two, so it's a bit of a cheat. The one I really wanted to feature was this gorgeous tray. This is a birch and walnut veneer. Okay, so let's talk about construction material choices when it comes to wood at Ikea. So you kind of have three different choices. You've got effect, right? So birch effect, walnut effect. That is going to be a screen printed sort of fake version of the real thing. It's not real wood. There you go, okay? Veneer is going to be usually very, very common at Ikea. This is where you're gonna see something like particle board, and then you're going to see a walnut or some other wood. It's actually a very, very thin layer of actual real wood. So you start to get the grain that you get from the real wood, as opposed to the effect, which is just a printed version. Then you have solid wood. Solid wood is going to be the best choice. It's gonna be the most expensive 
expensive, obviously, because you're not sort of filling it with particle board or whatever, but it's actually real solid wood. You do find some real solid wood pieces at Ikea, but they're rare. You'll usually find those at other retailers and it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Ikea, I don't usually love the effect stuff, but I do really like the veneered stuff at Ikea because it usually it does a really good job of bringing that price point down to a level that makes it accessible for a lot of people, but you also still get the look and feel of having something that has real wood in it. So the Ambanad is this gorgeous tray that is a walnut not effect, but walnut veneer. And so you actually are gonna get something that has real wood and also real birch. I love the sort of birch detail along the top. So birch is a really pale wood. Walnut is a little bit more of a medium to darker toned wood. So you get that contrasting wood and different wood tones within this tray. I think it's absolutely stunning. And the Ombanad series also, by the way, honorable mention, another one, quick sneaky honorable mention. It has these linen napkins as well. They're also beautiful, 100% linen, really like natural sort of neutral color here with this nice little kind of blue uh, stitching on the side. I actually just bought these last week. I think they're really, really cute. So this is a new series from Ikea. It's got a few different pieces there. I really like what it's about. The Ambanad number eight. Okay, number seven is going to be a class, uh, I don't know, they've had this for a long time. I've also owned this one as well, which is the Langfjall. That was my best Swedish. How was it? Not great. The Langfjall. Okay, so it is really hard in an office chair to find something in the Venn diagram of like chic and cute and also really, really comfortable and actually functional for people. There's not a lot in that little on that Venn diagram. There's not a lot of overlap there, am I right? You got those really hideous, puffy, ugly ones that are super comfy and feel like you're sitting on a cloud, wonderful for eight hours of work, but they're hideous. Then on the flip side, you've got people using dining chairs, essentially. If you go to like, say, Article, another retailer, if you go to their website and you look at what they're putting in as office chairs, they're dining chairs. They're from the same series, which is fine. They look really chic, they look cool, but they usually don't really feel all that comfortable because you're sitting in a dining chair. You're not meant to sit in that for eight hours at home or whatever. The Long Fjall is actually a comfortable, actual dedicated office chair that is also chic. And I think that's a great combination. You know, that's not an easy combination that you see every day. That's why it made my list. Comes in a few different colors, a creamy color, a gray color. I had it in the charcoal before. It's very comfy, comes with arms or without, depending on your preference. Some people like arms, it's a non-negotiable. Some people like to be free and have the not the arms and not have that. And um, I'm more of a not arms person, but you know, your preference is up to you. Both are great. Long fjall, wonderful chair, um, really chic and cute and also comfortable as well. It's definitely an office chair. I'm not gonna lie to you and say it looks like a dining chair. No, it is definitely an office chair, but it's a chic office chair and that is rare. Okay, number six on my list is going to be the Ullerslev. Ullerslev is a real sheepskin throw. Now you have, this is a real multi-purpose piece. You could drape this over a dining chair. You could put this over uh, a side chair like this one. You could put it over an arm of a, of a couch just casually. I even actually use these to skirt around my Christmas tree at Christmas time. What? How clever is that? So you got lots of different sort of sheepskin, you got lots of different options, or you could use it for its intended purpose, which I guess is a rug, which is what Ikea says that it is. You know, say, you know, just in next to your bed or something, that's really cute. You know, this is real sheepskin. So again, you're, you hear me talk about materials a lot in this video because this is where Ikea makes compromises. This is real sheepskin. So yes, you can find this at other retailers. Usually it's a lot more expensive. It is quite inexpensive at Ikea for what you're getting. Comes in a few different colors. They've right now got the green and they also have brown as well as the cream. I think the cream is sort of the classic they have all the time, but they sort of cycle out the colors here and there. This is a gorgeous one. Now, if you're vegan or you're just uncomfortable using sheepskin, totally fair, understand that. I would also recommend the Goviva. Looks very nice. It's you know, just as beautiful, feels very soft, very comfy. And of course, this is a completely vegan option for you. So if you're uncomfortable with sheepskin, you've got that one as well. So both of those make the number six spot. Okay, number five on my list is going to be the Constable. This is a beautiful, beautiful series of vases, vases that you can find at Ikea. This is a collaboration with Ilsa Crawford. This has been around for a while. I thought this was gonna be a temporary part of their sort of collection, but it seems to be sticking around. So maybe this is something that is gonna be here for a little bit longer, which would be great. It, I did find it at my Ikea the other day, so it is still there. This is beautiful. My personal favorite of the bunch is sort of this really gorgeous, sort of olive kind of green sort of colored one. I really love it. It's got the ridges at the bottom, so you can actually shape, you know, let's say you're into the whole like branch trend, which is very popular to get these huge flowing branches to put in your living room or whatever. If you wanna do that, that's great. This is awesome for styling that because you can actually put the stems and situate them in a way because you've got little ridges at the bottom, so you can really organize your stems to get the full effect, if you will. Really, really beautiful, great glass vase. This is really gorgeous. And you get a genuine Ilsa Crawford sort of piece for a really accessible price point. So this is a very solid pick and that is why it is number five. Okay, next up is going to be the 
Ugh, the Bjorksnas? The B Bjorksnas. Okay, <laughs> that was bad. Uh, even I admit that. Okay, so that one. This is a great pick. This is a solid birch piece. So this means that this is made of birch. It is a solid wood piece. So again, me talking about materials, uh, an Ikea, what else is new? The birch makes it for me the best of all the side tables. I believe it also comes in a bed as well, but I picked the side table for this one because I think it's really cool. It's got those leather pools, which is reading sort of very Scandi and, and whatever, but I do, you can sub those out if you don't like them, but I do think that it is really a gorgeous piece. It's a really nice, sort of nice, warm, cozy, woodsy sort of plant. It's nothing too flashy. It's not too extravagant. It's just gorgeous, simple, timeless Scandinavian charm. It comes in this really soft, beautiful birch. Now, the thing is with birch is it's a really beautiful wood. It also tends to be a little bit more inexpensive than the likes of oak or some of the most more you know, premium woods that are out there. So this is a perfect fit for Ikea to go with the solid wood option, but go with a sort of cheaper wood that is sort of going to keep that price point down. I will also say if you find this at your Ikea, good luck trying to find it. I think it's still difficult to find. Usually inventory is tight on this one because it is so popular. So keep that in mind when you're sourcing it. You know, maybe you check the website and you might have to really kind of jump in there and get it when it's when it's hot because these ones tend to go quickly. It's not the easiest side table to find when you're at Ikea in my personal experience, but a gorgeous one. And that is why it is number four. Okay, next up on my list, number three, we're really getting down to the good ones here. This is going to be the Tolkening. This is a other collections, so this is a whole collection. They're all great. Uh, they have a room divider as well, which is kind of interesting because you don't really see Ikea do a lot of those kind of things, but really interesting sort of rattan collection. I personally, there's a bench as well, but I actually really picked this sort of basket because I thought it was the most accessible to most people. Everybody can find a use for a basket. I really love this one. You can use this to store towels. You can do this to store kids' toys. You can put it in a kid's room. You could do it to throw like throws or pillows, whatever you sort of want. Just a really gorgeous, a rattan basket. I really love the shape of it. I really love the size of it. It's a really good size that you can really use it for storage. Uh, Ikea has a lot of little small baskets. All of them are great, to be honest. This is a, a category that I think that Ikea does really well with, but I do think the Tolkien is my favorite. Fairly new. I believe it only came out maybe this year, 2023. Maybe it came out last year. Great collection. Really, really love this one. Simple easy. Everybody can put this in their home and it would make sense. You know what I mean? Like this is just a really, really good solid piece at a really great price point. Number three, Tolkien, great pick. Okay, number two is going to be the Ikenna set. So the Ikenna set side chair, I think is a beautiful piece. This feels like a gorgeous, timeless luxury. Well, is it luxury? I mean, look, the shape of it very feels very designer. We've seen sort of this type of mid-century modern sort of armchair many, many times, but Ikea really nailed it with this one because I think that price point really does it for me. You can find other retailers like CB2, West Elm, Article, whatever, like a lot of the online players. You can find ones that probably have maybe a little bit more solid materials, maybe ones that have a different shape that you might like a little bit more. It's just a different chair. It's gonna be slightly different, but still sort of in this sort of style, this sort of mid-century modern sort of armchair, but they're all gonna be way more expensive. This one from Article here is $6.99 for the fabric. This is $2.99 at Ikea. So you're dealing with half the money. Sometimes you're paying half or even, you know, a third of the price that you're gonna pay at other sort of mainstream retailers. Gorgeous piece. This is also, this wood is solid wood framing. Really, really beautiful. I really like this one. I didn't see this at my Ikea for so, so long, but I actually was just there the other day and Ikea I had this here in Canada. So you can definitely find this, I think hopefully in the Ikea near you. Ikea Europe has had this for a very long time. A little bit slower to come over to this side of the ocean, but it's here now and it's a really, really great piece. This, in my opinion, is Ikea's kind of take on this timeless mid-century armchair and I think they do such a great job at nailing this one. So this is why this is number two. Okay, now I gotta do some honorable mentions like I mentioned in the beginning. I'm gonna speed through these ones. First one we gotta talk about is the Mark Frost. So, you know, this is a really beautiful table lamp. I wish it had a shade, to be honest. I wish they had sort of options to sort of change up the shade a little bit. What I love about this one is the base. You've got a 100% marble base. So this is usually very atypical at Ikea. They always do marble effect. Very rarely do they do anything with actual real natural stone, but they did with this one. Great pick. Another honorable mention is the Ricklig gorgeous tea set. I have this one as well. Really great for loose leaf tea. Great price point, really chic. Looks more expensive than it is. Okay, then you got the Frasera, whatever it is, which is this really beautiful cocktail glass. They've got lots of glass right at Ikea. All of them are really great. They've really upped their glass game in the last several years. This one I just thought was really an interesting whiskey glass. You could serve it as a water glass if you want to. 
I think that it's a really great pick. And finally, the Lister B collection. I picked the coffee table here, but honestly, they got a ton of stuff over there uh, in the Lister B. Now this is gonna be an oak veneer. So we talked about this. This is not an oak effect. This is actually got real wood, real oak. But again, because it's oak, which is a more premium sort of wood, you're gonna see them use a veneer here in order to really bring that price point down. Great price point, got these really interesting curved edges. Feels really premium. Again, it's a veneer, but at a great price point. And last honorable mention is gonna be the boomerang. Simple, straightforward, clean, easy. Had them for many, 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 many years. Just upgrade those wardrobes, upgrade those wood hangers, upgrade those hangers. If you've got the ones from the old ones from the dry cleaner, time to go. Time to go and upgrade them, and these are a solid pick. Yes, you can find wood hangers at other retailers like Walmart that are also a great price. Amazon has a lot too. But Ikea's a great option. The boomerang, timeless piece, been around for so, so long. And um, yeah, real wood hangers. It just, it does wonders for your clothes, and it makes your closet look so much better than the plastic ones. Okay, so finally, my number one, my favorite Ikea product, I've got to go with the Applerid. The Applerid is a beautiful sofa, comes in a love seat, comes in a sofa, beautiful sort of curved edges, very, very comfortable, comes in a few different watches or different, different fabrics. You've got a really interesting sort of rusty red color, very, very cool. Also comes in some gray, like a light gray, comes in like a dark sort of stormy gray, really beautiful. I love, love, love this collection. This piece reminds me of why they didn't get sued, I don't know, maybe they have, I don't know, is the outline sofa that they have, which is a beautiful designer sofa that is gonna cost you way more money. And the Applerid is very, very similar. Now, I'm not the type of person that's going to fool you into saying that a dupe of a more expensive brand is the same thing. It's not. You're not stupid for buying the $7,000 sofa that you're gonna get from the designer from Outline or whatever, the Outline sofa. I'm not saying you're stupid for choosing that. I am saying though, that if you understand that you are gonna be making some compromises in the construction, but you're okay with that because you wanna get that price point down, you cannot do better than the Applerid, in my opinion, especially if you're looking for that designer dupe. This is such a beautiful sofa. It is gorgeous. It is, it's, it's fabulous. It's just a fabulous sofa. It is so comfortable. The reviews are phenomenal. This is also a sofa that may be hard to get depending on where you are. I notice that sometimes it does tend to sell out. Gorgeous fabric options. They really nailed this one. This is not only my favorite sofa at Ikea. This is for me right now in 2023, my all time favorite Ikea product. All the ones on this list are great, but this one to me is just ticking all the boxes. And if I were out there looking for a sofa right now, I'm not because I just bought this one. But if I wasn't, this would be the one that I would probably choose. It is just, it's, it's a gorgeous piece and no one should, um, can convince me otherwise. Okay, that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm going to throw here to a video that I did that I really liked, but <laughs> it wasn't super popular, but it was called You Get What You Pay For was essentially the idea. And I really wanted to break down the differences in construction on why things are priced certain prices. You know what I mean? And um, it was a really interesting video to make. I really enjoyed it. And it touches on a lot of the topics that I touched on in this video because construction matters, materials matter. And that's what I talked about in that video. So I'll see you all over there and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.